It's been 13 months since I installed this antenna and um, one of my viewers was saying that I should have stainless steel washers and make sure the threads are greased. And I've been thinking about that. So I think today we're gonna pull the antenna down and see how it looks after 13 months and put some stainless steel washers and make sure the threads are nice and greased. So let's go ahead and get to work on this. I think the easiest way to do this will be to loosen these brackets and drop this pole down to the ground down here. And that will allow me easier access to take the antenna off the pole. And to do that, we're gonna have to loosen these brackets right here to drop the pole down. Okay, change of plans here. We're gonna disconnect the pole. There's um, two sections to it. We're gonna disconnect it in the middle and see if we can lift it down. So what I'm doing here is I have plastic zip ties that are holding the coax to the pole. So I'm cutting those off which will give me access to the end of the coax so I can disconnect the antenna and separate the two parts of the pole that holds the antenna up. Now that I have the antenna laying on the roof, I can uh, go up here on the ladder and take it down and put it over on the space I want to work on it. Okay, Henry. Okay, that was much easier than I thought. And looking at the antenna, in 13 months, the fiberglass is still nice and smooth and protected. We are going to disconnect the sections here and probably, uh, even that feels good. We're probably going to put new washers on it. All right, uh, disconnect the top third of the antenna. We're gonna need a half inch open end wrench here. And we'll see if we can get it disconnected. Go ahead and grip here. Okay, that's coming off pretty easy. Okay. That actually still looks pretty good. All right, at least on the top third, the washer and the threads still look great. I think I'll just reuse the washer. It's a lock washer, but it uh, looks like it still has some flex in it. So I think that's gonna be fine. And let's go ahead and take off the lower section.
and the lower section here just like the upper section or the yeah the top section looks good also so let's go ahead and grease our fittings and put it back together one additional step I think I'll do is touch up my pole here that I had painted green for camouflage kind of scratched it up when I took it down and laid it when I laid it down so let's go ahead and fix that up first Alright, our next step here is going to be to get a little grease here and put it on the threads. I just used some grease from my grease gun that I would used when I had my Ford Explorer and I was greasing the ball joints. Okay, and let's put the washer back on. And put it back together. And let's grease the top piece here. Put the washer on. and tighten it up. Time to lay it back on the roof and then go on the back side and lift it back up. What I'm doing here is where the antenna attaches to the pole, where the coax goes into the antenna, about an inch down um, on the pole the antenna is attached to, I put a plastic cable tie so the coax doesn't flop around and then once I lift the antenna I'm going to probably put three or four more cable ties to keep it the the coax attached firmly to the pole now the original in my original video I showed you the pole is that I have the antenna attached to is actually a patio umbrella pole that has two sections it just made it easy to uh, connect and disconnect when you want to bring the antenna down. And it's, it's very sturdy. And this antenna has held up to some pretty strong winds. So I'm pretty happy with the setup I have here. Antenna is all hooked back up, cleaned it up, repainted it, new grease, 
and the washers were still good. All right, one more thing I want to check on this is let's put the radio on now that the antenna's back up. And let's check the SWR. Before we took it down, we had an SWR of 1.126 on channel one. So let's put it on one, and that was on AM, and see what we get here. 1.1, 1 .1. so it actually went down a little. Let's try it on 40. On 40, we had 1.381 last time we tested it. Let's go ahead and key up the mic. And let's look at that again. 1.37 and last time we were 1.38 so it went down a little bit on channel 40 also and like i said before that antenna has been up 13 months and it's held up wonderful we probably have had in that year 60 70 mile an hour winds um i saw no corrosion on it no rust and the surface of the antenna was still still nice. It looks like the coating on it held up really nice. So I'm pretty impressed with this antenna with all the snow, wind, that uh, and rain that we get here. So I think this will be good to go till next year, and we'll take it apart then and uh, probably do this yearly and just see how well this antenna holds up. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.